Hi friends, welcome to the PVAQ analysis. Guys, today we are taking a very important topic from the subject of geography. The topic is coral reefs. Guys, this topic is very important this year. So what we are going to do today, we are going to see the type of questions which has come on this topic of coral reefs in the last 30 years in the UPSC prelims examination. We are going to brainstorm this topic and we are going to see what kind of questions we can expect in the UPSC prelims examination this year. Guys, my name is Santosh Pandey. I have the unique distinction of cracking the UPSC prelims examination six out of six times. You can see some of my scorecards. I have scored one of the highest marks ever scored by any UPSC aspirant in the prelims examination. Guys, this is my telegram channel. You can join my telegram channel for free MCQs on current affairs daily. Daily I publish current affairs and free MCQs for practice. Lot of questions every year in the UPSC prelims examination come from my free MCQ series. Please do practice them. So let us start. So guys, what I have done is that I have done a 360D analysis of the coral reefs PYQ analysis. So let me just show you, okay, these are the questions which have come in the last 30 years. So let, before we discuss the questions, okay, let me just do a 360 degree analysis. So in coral reefs, the first type of questions which you which can come is what are coral reefs? Okay, what are coral reefs? This is very important. You have to know what exactly are coral reefs and here you need to know what is the symbiotic relationship in the coral reefs. The second theme where the questions can come is the types of coral reefs. What are the different types of coral reefs? Fringing coral reefs, barrier coral reefs and atolls. Here the topic of atolls is very important this year. Next, what are the conditions for the growth of coral reefs? Here you will see the conditions determines the next part, the next theme which is where are the coral reefs present in the world because they will be only present in those regions where the conditions are favorable for growth of coral reefs. Therefore, UPSC has been asking question on the distribution of coral reefs in the world. They can also ask distribution of coral reefs in India. Once they have asked question on where are coral reefs distributed in India. So the conditions are very important because without knowing the conditions, you will not be able to judge where will the coral reefs be found in India and the world. Let me give you one example. One popular question in the UPSC prelims examination on coral reefs is why are coral reefs found mostly in tropical waters? The reason for this is that the coral reefs cannot survive below 18 degree Celsius. They cannot survive below 18 degree Celsius. Okay. So like that question can come like coral reefs need what saline water for survival. So if there is a high influx of water, then coral reefs will not survive. Okay, so like this, you see how I am connecting one theme to the other. That is why you should have an analytical approach towards your preparation. Once you have analytical approach, once you understand the theory well, then you will be able to answer any kind of question on the topic. Next, the role performed by coral reefs. Coral reefs perform various ecosystem services ecosystem services, you know, coral reefs are sometimes called the rainforest of the ocean, rainforest of the ocean. Why? Because they have huge biodiversity. They have huge biodiversity. Very, very important. Very, very important. What kind of role do they perform? Next, the topic of coral bleaching is very important. Very, very important. What are the factors responsible for coral bleaching? And last but not the least, coral reefs and climate change. What is the relation? How are these two relation related? How one feeds into other? This is very, very important. How climate change is impacting coral reefs? Here you need to prepare a topic called ocean acidification. Ocean acidification. UPSC has asked question on ocean acidification and its impact on coral reefs and what is the impact of this ocean acidification on coral reefs and how this will impact the cloud formation. 
cloud form. This was once asked in UPSC. Many students committed mistake in that. So guys, now what we are going to do is that once we have done this 360 degree analysis, we are going through. We'll, we are going to see the questions which have come on the uh, topic in the PYQs. Let us see, guys. So you can see this this PYQ came in the year 2014. 2014. Which of the following have coral reefs? So now, since the pattern has changed, they will just okay. In place of which they will just change how. How many of the below places coral reefs are found? So guys, coral reefs are found in India, in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Gulf of Mannar, Gulf of Kutch, Park Strait, and Lakadip. So you can see here, Sundarbans will not be the answer. So you can cut Sundarbans, cut Sundarban. Okay, so you will get answer as 1, 2, and 3. One important thing you need to keep in mind is that all the coral reefs found in all places are fringing coral reefs. You see here, types of coral reefs is very important. That's why I was saying types of coral reefs you need to prepare. You can see types of coral reefs you need to prepare. Whereas in Lakadip, which is very important this year, you get atolls. Atolls are very important. You need to prepare the concept of atolls. How atolls formation takes place. Here you need to prepare the Maldives. Very important. Next, let us move on. You see this question came in the year 2007. The largest coral reef in the world is found near the coast of which of the following countries? The answer is Australia. Guys, this topic of Great Barrier Reef, this topic of Great Barrier Reef is very, very important in the UPSC prelims examination. Please do prepare Great Barrier Reef. It generally comes in the UPSC prelims exam every five years. Every five years it comes. So this entire mapping of the Great Barrier Reef you need to do in our mapping classes, in our static geography mapping classes, we have covered Australia mapping in that we have covered this Great Barrier Reef in detail. Next, the question, the first marine sanctuary in India having within its bound coral reefs, mollusk, dolphins, tortoise, having very variety of seabirds, etc. has been established in, the answer is Gulf of Kutch. Gulf of Kutch, very, very important for the prelims examination. Please do prepare Gulf of Kutch. It is the first wildlife, marine wildlife sanctuary and first marine national park in the Jamnagar district. Very, very important. Next question let us see. In 2018, consider the following statements. Most of the world's coral reefs are in tropical water. Yes, you can see here. I told you that you need to prepare the distribution of coral reefs. Where are the coral reefs distributed? And this you can know when you know the conditions favorable for the growth of coral reefs. So guys, the first statement says what? That most of the coral reefs are distributed in the tropical waters. Yes, this is correct. Why? Because coral reefs cannot survive in low temperatures. They cannot survive in low temperatures. This is correct. More than one third of the corals are located in territories of Australia, Indonesia and Philippines. You can see 2007 question. You can see here. It was Australia given. It was Australia given and Philippines is also given. So most of the coral reefs are situated here. This place is called Coral Triangle. This place is called Coral Triangle. You can see here Philippines, Indonesia and Australia. This is called Coral Triangle. Very, very important for the prelims examination. You can see coral reefs host more than number of animal fil uh, files than hosted in tropical rainforest. Okay. Obviously, as I told you, coral reefs are very, very important for the biodiversity. They have huge biodiversity in them. Okay. Here you need to keep in mind the temperature profile, which is best suited for coral reefs. They cannot survive in very cold waters. That is why they are not found in okay, the temperate and the Arctic region. Next, they need salty water. They need salty water. Therefore, where there is a huge flux of fresh water, these coral reefs are not found. Sometimes they can frame a question that why in India, in the eastern coast, in the eastern coast you will see that coral reefs are not found in the West Bengal coast. They are also not found in the Odisha coast. But after, if you go down, they are found in the Tamil Nadu coast. Why? Can anyone tell me the answer to this question? This is a very analytical question. Let me see how many of you can answer this question. I will see that 
in the comment box how many of you are able to answer this let me see this okay so this kind of analytical question upsc is going to ask for example statement okay reason and assertion and reason question they will give you okay assertion coral reefs are not found on the coast of west bengal and odisha whereas they are found in the coast of tamil nadu gulf of mannar what is the reason for that let me see how many of you are able to do this kind of analytical questions will take you to the prelims guys most of the students they are not solving analytical questions once you start solving analytical question your brains will open up and you will be able to handle questions in a new pattern guys next let us see this question acidification of ocean is increasing why is this phenomena a cause of concern this is a very very important topic guys we all know that because of ocean acidification the survival of calcareous phytoplankton will be adversely impacted coral reefs will be also adversely impacted survival of some animals that have phytoplanktonic larvae will be also adversely impacted the most important top topic here is the cloud seeding and cloud formation guys when we have ocean acidification then what is going to happen that there are many phytoplanktons they release they release sulfur into the atmosphere they release sulfur into the atmosphere and these surfers sulfur act as aerosols which help in cloud formation which help in cloud formation and these clouds they reflect the solar radiation and they cool the earth but when this phytoplanktons this phytoplanktons they start dying because of the ocean acidification the amount of sulfur into the atmosphere will reduce and thus the cloud formation will also reduce thus raising the global temperature so this is also correct this is a very very important concept many students they have not studied this concept this is not there in the ncert this is a very very important concept you can get such question in the upsc prelims examination to see how upsc has been asking questions in a very analytical fashion if you do not prepare in an analytical fashion you will not be in position to handle these questions guys let us see next question which came in the year 2022 bio rock technology what is bio rock technology this is also related to coral reefs this is for the restoration of damaged coral reef this is for the restoration of damaged coral reefs very very important this is what this was it so guys you can see how we have covered all the types of questions which have come on the topic of coral reefs in the last 30 years in the last 30 years i hope you were able to understand the trend and you will be preparing so guys what you can do is that you can prepare one level ahead now because already you have seen what kind of questions have come so now they can ask you questions on atolls questions on types of coral reefs questions on what will be the impact of the coral bleaching what are the factors responsible for coral bleaching these kinds of questions they come and obviously the geographical distribution of coral reefs are always very important so thank you guys bye bye take care do consider liking this video and if you want me to make more such videos please do okay support this video and support this channel thank you friends bye bye take care